Hey Cougar fans, Beth O'Donnell here with another edition of This Week in Cougar Athletics. Each week we bring you the top stories, highlights, and let you know what's planned for the week to come. So let's get started. Women's basketball swept both Arizona universities while on the road this past week for the first time since the 1994-95 season. Freshman and reigning WCCougars.com Female Student Athlete of the Week Leah Galdera scored a game-high 20 points at Arizona State. WCU held the Sun Devils to their lowest point total in series history with 43 points. With the help of the sweep, the Cougars posted its first three-game conference winning streak since last season. Cougar Swimming defeated Idaho 156 to 106 points, bringing their season record to 5 and 5. The swim victory last Friday marked the seventh straight home win over Idaho. Freshman Lori Olson led the Cougars in scoring, contributing 22 points while claiming first in the 1,000 free and 200 backstroke. Junior Emma Johansson also took away a couple of race wins in both the 100 back and 100 fly. WCU Indoor Track and Field captured eight wins at the 37th annual Vandal Indoor. In the Vandal Indoor, WSU student-athletes reached 11 personal record marks in the abbreviated meet schedule. Senior Cindy Robinson won the women's 60-meter dash and the 200-meter dash in a lifetime best of 24.38 seconds. Men's basketball took on Arizona State in number 8 Arizona at home in Beasley Coliseum. Senior Brock Modem moved into 11th place on WSU's career scoring list with 1,336 points, passing Chris Crosby. Junior DJ Shelton collected his first career double-double with 13 points and 10 rebounds against Arizona. While Arizona's Solomon Hill made a shot from three-quarters court, many Kook fans were more impressed with Butch T. Cougars behind-the-back half-court shot prior to tip-off. Now let's take a look at what's going on this week in Cougar Athletics. Men's basketball will head down to Los Angeles to take on USC at 8.30 p.m. Thursday. Then at 7 p.m. Saturday, the Cougars will take on UCLA. Both games can be heard on KQQQ, 11.50 a.m. in the Pullman area as well as through WSUCougars.com. The games will also be televised on the Pac-12 networks. Indoor track and field will split the team to compete in both the Husky Classic in Seattle and the Kirby Invitational in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Both meets will be held all day, Friday and Saturday. WSU Tennis will take on number 57 Sacramento State at 10 a.m. Friday in Hollingberry Fieldhouse. Then at 11 a.m. Saturday, the Cougars will take on Gonzaga, followed by Eastern Washington at 4 p.m., both at Hollenberry Fieldhouse. WSU enters the week tied for 35th nationally. Women's basketball will take on USC at 6 p.m. Friday at home. Then at noon Sunday, the Cougars will take on number 18 UCLA, also at home in Beasley Coliseum. Both games will be streamed through Pac12.com. Both games can also be heard on KQQQ 11.50 a.m. in the Pullman area as well as through WSUCougars.com. Swimming will head to California to take on Cal State Bakersfield this Saturday. That's all that's going on this week in Cougar Athletics. Be sure to check out WSUCougars.com for schedules, results, and highlights. Until next week, I'm Beth O'Donnell. Go Cougs!